paint special. Don't let this season and these savings get away from you. Design your building online at toughshed.com. Call or stop in to see your local Tough Shed team. Dream, design, install. Tough Shed. Jewelry, the perfect gift. The Jewelry Exchange has diamond bands for $169. $5.99, carat three four ninety, and one carat studs five ninety nine. Buy direct. The Jewelry Exchange, Tustin. A sunny getaway awaits you and your family at the Riverside Resort Hotel and Casino in Laughlin, Nevada. We offer 24-hour Nevada-style gaming, plus fine to casual dining. From the gourmet room to our newly reopened buffet, enjoy a USS Riverside boat tour, 34-lane bowling center, six-plex movie theater, South Tower adult pool and bar, and rooms with beautiful views. Call to book and mention Laughlin Getaway to receive two Riverside buffets when you book a two-night stay. Call 1-800-227-3849 or visit RiversideResort.com. I'm Chip Yost in Houston, where the NRA convention is underway and the debate over gun control is heated days after the shooting in Uvalde. We'll have a live report coming up. Also this morning, anger and frustration is building over the investigation into the deadly shooting in Uvalde, Texas. We'll have the latest on what we've now learned. And it is a busy Memorial Day weekend. We're going to have a look at travel and local commemorations. A cloudy start to the day. A lot of us will see cloud cover for the remainder of the weekend. We'll talk about that coming up. Good morning. Welcome to the KTO Morning News at 6 a.m. I'm Lynette Romero. And I'm Mark Messer. Our top story this morning is going to be with an update on that tragedy in Uvalde, Texas. Law enforcement authorities are now calling their actions a mistake when they waited more than an hour before storming a classroom to take down that gunman. That delay is fueling mounting criticism and scrutiny. The muddled timeline of those 90 minutes of terror now under investigation. KTLA's Gene Kang joins us from the newsroom with the very latest developments. Gene, good morning. Good morning, Mark and Lynette. Such a difficult story here. Now, controversy this morning that we're talking about after the Texas Department of Public Safety said that officers made the wrong decision when they failed to break into the classroom much faster with reactions from the community this morning as we also hear from the shooter's mother for the first time. Police waited more than an hour before they broke into the fourth grade classroom to take down the shooter, breaking active shooter protocol. An 18-year-old killed 19 children and two teachers at Robb Elementary School, devastating everyone in Uvedale, Texas and the whole nation. The director of Texas Department of Public Safety confirmed that officers should have gone in much faster as soon as possible with emotions running high. We're hearing different perspectives from the community. What they, what the officers should have done, gone in there. No matter the consequences to everything that happened. We need to let things cool down a little bit so we can think clearly. Uh, you don't know what these police officers are going through. My apologies, it's Uvalde, Texas. Now, for the first time since the mass shooting, we're hearing from Adriana Martinez Reyes, the mother of lone gunman there, who spoke in Spanish. Well, she says, forgive me, forgive me. I know he had his reasons for doing what he did, and please don't judge him. I just want the innocent children who died to forgive me. Well, the shooter's mother also went on to describe her son as very quiet and quote that he didn't do anything to anybody, but she didn't give any, indi any indication, excuse me, of a possible motive. Well, coming up in the next hour, Texas Governor Greg Abbott claims that he was given the wrong information about the shooting and wants the Texas Rangers and FBI to investigate and also an outburst during a news conference from a Texas Democrat and a senator demanding action. More on that coming up next in the newsroom. Gene Kang, KTLA 5 News. All right, Gene, thank you for that. In other news this morning, Vice President Kamala Harris and the second gentleman just arrived in Buffalo, New York, happened about 30 minutes ago. They're going to be attending a memorial, a service, in fact, for Ruth Whitfield. That's one of the victims of the top supermarket mass shooting that happened earlier this month. Harris is also going to meet with other victims' families to offer condolences. Today's visit marks the first time that the vice president has been to Buffalo in the aftermath of the mass shooting there. Whitfield is the last of the 10 victims to be laid to rest. Another news this morning, our members are gathered.
gathering for their second day of their annual conference in Texas. Tensions at the Houston Convention Center are high with gun control activists surrounding the area on day one. What's it going to be like?